Hello and welcome to round six highlights of the 2024 Betfred Wheelchair Super League. And like last week, we're back in Wigan in Greater Manchester. Cast your mind back a couple of weeks ago and it was London versus Wigan. The Roosters came out on top by a narrow score of 20 points to 14. We're expecting a really, really close game here in Wigan and hope it's going to be a really, really good game. Let's get to the action and let's see what happens. Yes, we did. We knew exactly what we needed to do. A couple of times our execution dropped off. And we gave away a few silly penalties as well that piggyback London down court. And if you let them get near your line, they've got the pace to, to burn you. So uh, we had to tough it out. Obviously, the first from the game from a couple of weeks ago, and you lost 20, 20 points to 14. Is there a little bit of revenge in the air? No, we didn't feel like that at all, to be honest with you. We, we felt it was an unusual game. It was on a small court. Um, that there was lots of things which you know people will have seen on the video that, that we thought you know that probably won't happen in another game um, and, and it didn't today. We just needed to stick to what we do, worry about us, worry about executing, get our defensive line right, get the comms right, and, and for the most part we did it and we toughed it out. We came from behind, as you know, we, we had four of the grand final squad from last year unavailable, so it's uh, we, we're calling people up now and it's it's really paying off having that reserve squad. A great performance from Jack Heggie today. 
Oh, Jack was on fire. Yeah, he, if he gets his timing right and he hits that ball at the right speed, he, he's almost undefendable. Um, and if you get a defender on the edge that just turns in slightly, he, he's going to burn him. You know, he, he had a great game. I think Toby had a good game as well. He got two fantastic tries, one, one right at the end as well, the first half. Yeah. Pivotal moment, I would say, in the game. I, I would say so. Toby's come on in leaps and bounds over the last year or so. He really has. Uh, and obviously, I have the privilege of coaching him at Ireland as well. He had a fantastic Celtic Cup. Uh, and that's really lifted his confidence and he's carried that through into the season. So it's great to see. And what a finish from uh, Nathan Roberts today, right at the end? Yeah, proud in more ways than one, as you can imagine. <laughs> you know, he, he's only just turned 19. He's only been playing the sport a couple of years. So this really is his first proper Super League season. Uh, with Declan injured, he's, he's playing big minutes. Um, and he really backed himself. He's got the chair skills. And if he gets into open space, you saw what he can do. Your halfway point of the season, are you pleased with how the season's been so far? Um, yeah, I think there's obviously we, we dropped it. We dropped points in a couple of close games. Um, I, I feel like we should have beaten Leeds here. We lost that by six points. As you said, the London game in London. Um, the game against Halifax, a bit of an anomaly. You know, when Harry Brown's playing, he scores six or seven tries. There's not a lot you can do about that. He's, he's just Harry, isn't he? Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I think we're quite content with where we are. We feel like we're building and... What's been really key, I think, is the fact that we've had people out injured and unavailable and other guys are just stepping up and doing a job. So, yeah, loving it. And great for the reserves to come, some of the reserves to play today as well. Yeah, it was fantastic. So, obviously, um, London didn't have a reserves team. So, we arranged for some local match officials to come down who've expressed an interest um, in understanding more about the game. So, we had a lot of guys down from Wigan uh, Rugby League Referee Society and, and they've absolutely loved it and they've said they'll be back. You've got a hole coming up. You'll be planning the preparation for that. You've got a bit of a break now. Yeah, we've got a break for a couple of weeks. Then we've got Hull here at home. Um, we know what we need to do against Hull. I think they're the most improved team in the comp. They gave us a really tough game at their place. I think we blew it out in the second half, but it was 6-0 at half-time. So they're a really good side, much improved. Uh, Tristan and Josh are a real handful. Um, so, yeah, we'll, uh, we've got a couple of weeks, like you said, to rest up and, uh, and get ourselves ready. So it's congratulations to the Wigan Warriors, who picked up a vital win today at home against the London Roosters. But let's see what else has happened in Round 6 of the Wheelchair Super League for 2024. The other game from round six was in Hull and it was Hull FC versus the Leeds Rhinos. It was a very tense game with only two points of difference at half time, but the Rhinos rallied in the second half to win the game by 44 points to 26. And here's what's happened to the league table for this week. So the Leeds Rhinos are now five from five and they are 10 points at the top of the table. Wigan leap for the London Roosters into third place after beating them at home this week. And always remember, it will always be the top four teams that will enter the playoffs come September. So that concludes Round 6 highlights of the 2024 Betfred World Chess Super League and we'll be back in two weeks time for the top of the table crash between the Leeds Rhinos and the Halifax Panthers. We'll see you then.